Hello everybody, Killer Tia here, and today we're not taking a look at just one game, we're taking a look at six games as part of recently released addition to the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack, the Game Boy Advance. Now for those of you who don't know what a Game Boy Advance is, it was a much anticipated upgrade to the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color released back in 2001, and it was home to tons of classic games and also ports of games from older systems that have been made possibly even better on the handheld. And I gotta say, I with this bad boy when I was like in middle and high school, this was one of the best handhelds I have ever played. You know, outside of the Nintendo Switch and stuff itself, but um, but yeah. There are like so many games and we only got six released with this um edition so far but i'm hoping that nintendo will be able to release more games for the game boy advance here in the future but for now let's take a look at the six games currently available on this the first game i checked out was mario kart super circuit and my first immediate impression upon starting up the game was oh my these controls are not tight I mean, for real, these controls that felt like much more looser than I'm used to with the, late, with the later Mario Kart games. Not unplayable, just a little bit more looser than what I like. But as far as the graphics are concerned, for what was a launch title for the Game Boy Advance, Mario Kart Super Circuit does an excellent job representing what the Game Boy Advance was capable at the time. Speaking of uh, the graphics, Nintendo does offer two different filters to simulate their GBA swing a little bit more. Um, this first one here we're looking at simulates the pickers that you will see on the actual Game Boy Advance LCD screen. Um, I kind of like this effect and I pretty much used it for the rest of the recordings for the GBA games. Um, the second option shrinks the screens down a bit to simulate what the Game Boy screen itself would be like. And I gotta be honest, even though the image is sharper, I want to be able to see as much of it as possible, so I just pretty much ignored this option. The next game I tried out is Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay, is it the fourth entry to the third entry, Nintendo? Stop trying to confuse me! And unlike me playing the physical version, this time around, I decided to check out the e reader exclusive levels that they added to this edition because I never got to play them. I gotta say, playing through these levels was fantastic. The emulation in this game is pretty much spot on, except for like one weird glitch. You see, there is a accessory for the GameCube called the Game Boy Player. And you can use this device to play any Game Boy games on the TV through the GameCube. From the original Game Boy all the way to the Game Boy Advance. And if you insert certain Game Boy Advance games, say this advanced form of Super Mario Bros. 3, you can unlock unique features like being able to use a rumble and your GameCube controller. I do have to say, there is rumble in this Switch Online version, but... I'm not sure if it's at the fault of the emulation itself, or it's because I'm using a third party controller, but it's an annoying glitch to have nonetheless. Luckily, you're able to turn off the vibration on your controller through the system's menu, but it's still kind of an annoying glitch to have in the first place. Now it's time for WarriorWare, a collection of a bunch of different micro games you can complete in 5 seconds or less. 
The quirky nature of this game is very addicting and it's definitely a must play if you decide to download the Game Boy Advance Collection on the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack. My favorite selection of micro games come from Ninebolt and this little guy knows how to tickle my nostalgia for old school Nintendo products. <laughs> Now we are playing Kuru Kuru Kururin? I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Anyways, in this game you're trying to pilot this helicopter-like compaction throughout the stage without letting your propellers hit the walls. Hit the wall three times and you have to start the stage all over again. Um, you do get a chance to replenish your health in some of the stages, but there is still a little bit of a challenging factor to it. Um, I can see people enjoying this game. I personally don't see myself coming back to this one again in the future. But hey, if it looks good to you, I do recommend checking it out for yourself. Next up is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And I played this game so much during my high school days. Like, the graphics are excellent. The, ga the tone based gameplay in this RPG is also excellent. The setting that you're placed in is just gorgeous, and you actually get to play as Mario and Luigi at the same time. Ugh, this game is just so good. I'm glad to see it here and the GBA on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. I will say. It does suffer the same rumble glitch as in Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. But like I said, the turn up vibrations and it won't be an issue. And last but not least is Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Now granted, I should have given this game a little bit more time when I was streaming. But at the same time, I did get a good feel of it. It plays like an older game, it looks as good as any older game. And the Minish Cap gimmick cute is very cute and fits the theme of this game nicely. It's definitely a game I'm going to be giving more time to in the future. And definitely another one you need to play ASAP. And there you go, all six GBA games are available right now. And they are all pretty solid games that you should play if you are paying for the Nintendo Switch Online expansion, and I personally can't wait to see more GBA game release, especially Golden Sun. That is another RPG I played a lot during high school, and I cannot wait to play that game again. And I do have to say, the emulation for these games, other than the real rumble glitch, was absolutely spot on, so definitely no excuse to check these out. So, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will definitely catch you all next time.